Town Hall 10 is going to be an absolute blast, guys. I've got two and a half hours to wait. I won't be waiting that long. We're going to be jamming it, and we're going to be doing our very first upgrades as a Town Hall 10 today. But I've got a few little things that I want to take care of first. First, I want to introduce to you guys a new channel sponsor. Punch trees. Crafting table. Craft a shovel. Craft a pickaxe. Craft an axe. Mine some stone. Stone sword. Food. Any source. More food. We're gonna be underground a long time. Found some sheep. Now I can get a bed. And pigs, because... Bacon. Even chickens. It's getting dark. Craft bed quickly. Quicker than this. Sweet dreams. Sunrise. Back to work. Find a pretty spot. Begin digging mine. Yes, I realized that was a confusing video of me playing Minecraft, but the point is that video can be found on Facebook. Yes, guys, I am now going to be posting content on Facebook, other games. If you're interested in seeing me do other games and having, uh, especially because it's small, I don't I have like maybe a couple of followers. So uh, if you guys want to have an influence on what I play next, then go check it out. There's a link down below in the description. I'll be uploading probably every day, every other day, something like that on both YouTube and Facebook going forward and it's going to be awesome and one more thing before we get into town hall 10 i am going to be giving away actually technically supercell is giving away one of these baby dragon plushies in today's video so if you guys are interested in winning the giveaway all you have to do is be fast okay you got to be quick and you got to watch for the code that's going to pop up on the screen randomly it's only going to be on the screen for about a second Whoever is the first person to put that code into the redemption link that I've provided for you guys down below in the description to go straight to the Supercell website, you put in the code, and then if you win, then you're going to put in your uh, your shipping address and they will send you a Baby Dragon plushie. It's the cutest thing ever uh, for free. So do that. Be fast and let me know if you are the winner down below in the comments. By the way, if you put the link in and it just says, hey, your, your gift is being processed and you didn't put in your address, that means somebody else got it. Uh, but there will be many, many more giveaways. This is a December thing. This is a Christmas thing, and it's probably going to bleed into 2022. Uh, we have a lot of giveaways coming, so turn on notifications so that you can be one of the first to see the new videos so that you can get the giveaways because every video I post going forward, and we've already done a couple on the Clash Royale trading cards, uh, uh, box openings, uh, we're going to be doing giveaways, and it's going to be amazing. So cute. Okay, guys, so before we go and do this gemming thing, I'm going to do a quick CWL attack because I just have to. I won't show you the details because this is technically a Town Hall 10 video, uh, but I've got to wreck this base. It's a it's a low-level Town Hall 9, so let me just quickly do the attack, wreck it. My queen will probably die in the process, but then uh, Town Hall 10 is here. And there you go, easy peasy. I'm not even going to use my queen's ability. Um, I, I, I'm I, sorry I had to include that into a Town Hall 10 video, but uh, I was put into CWL and the war just started. So I figured, you know what? I'm probably going to upgrade some heroes today as a Town Hall 10. So I might as well do my tech today while I've got my heroes awake. Okay, so that's done. Also, in the previous CWL, I a two star to Town Hall 11 and it was clutch. So let's jump into the Town Hall. Let's gem that baby. And there we go. We are now Town Hall 10s and we got a plus five hero boost, a power potion a resource boost and a star bonus boost which come to think of it with that power potion i should have maybe or that plus five hero boost i should have maybe done this before the cwl hit uh but at three stars so it doesn't matter okay so now let's do some upgrades i need to remove some trees apparently uh i've got a lot of loot a lot of elixir which is good because at town hall 10 especially when Things like the laboratory need to be upgraded. I have a lot of elixir demand on day one. So let's go ahead and let's upgrade this laboratory. 2.5 million elixir and a two-day upgrade. And it will be done uh, shortly. I could use the book of building on it, but I feel like there's better things to do with that book. Specifically, things like the spell factory. I hate upgrading the spell factory. It's the worst. So uh, it might, yeah, okay. So, ooh, okay. I need to reorganize my progress base. <laughs> give, give, give me a second. This is going to take me some time, I think. Okay, I'm not going to bother with the collectors and mines just yet. I'm going to wait until I'm not being filmed to really take my time organizing this and making it pretty. But right now, I've moved over all of the resource infrastructure, again, except for the collectors and mines, and all of the offense buildings. Because these are really what you want to focus on whenever you're starting a new town hall. So we're going to work on these. All these defenses that need to be upgraded and all the traps will be moved if they need to be. Also, none of the storages get upgrades. I'm surprised, but, you know, it is what it is. So let's spend um let's spend some loot here so i've got dark elixir i think i'm gonna spend um 
yeah, we're going to upgrade the queen. That's obviously like a day one, minute number two priority behind like the lab, right? So <clears throat> let's upgrade this queen. 68,000 Dark Elixir. Bam. And of course, we won't be making her wait on her upgrade. Uh, we're going to be uh, using our, the book on her. But for now, let's wait. Okay, I need some extra loot. Also, uh, because I've got so much extra elixir, thank you to the Season Bank. Season Bank is amazing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the Spell Factory. Bam! And the Dark Spell Factory. Bam! That's going to unlock both the cl uh, Clone Spell and the Bat Spell, which is amazing. And then I'm going to use the book. Actually, I might not use the book. Let me just think about this for a second. I've got a lot of extra elixir. I do need a decent amount of dark elixir. Also, I can collect my treasury just so I know exactly what I have to deal with here. 51,000 dark elixir. So here's the thing. I need to get to zero dark elixir because I have uh, clan games rewards that I still haven't collected. This the, You have seven days to collect this. Right now, I've got 14 hours. So I've, I cut this one perfectly close because I knew that the schedule was going to work out, that I was going to be able to get a second dark elixir rune right now i can't get one because I've, I've got one already in my uh magical items this has just worked out perfectly for me so i need to use this rune today <laughs> which means i need to get to zero dark elixir somehow i'm not sure how but i'm gonna give it a try okay uh so let's go do this i've got barch because that's simply the best attack strategy for this situation uh no spells Everything is cheap. I mean, you know, we still have the 99% troop discount, which I don't even know why we have this discount. Ooh, power level. Wow. Whoa, 4,000 gems for $2.99 plus an extra gold? That's worth every dollar right there. Wow, that's an amazing deal, guys. If you decide to buy something like that, don't forget to use a creator code, anybody's code, don't matter who. Uh, just check in your shop for that little the little white C and that green check mark. As you can see, uh, mine is still has the green check mark. But if yours doesn't, just click in and put the code. If you want to do if you want to support me with the creator code, use Klaus K L A U S. That's a great deal. I might have to buy it. How long do I have? Day and a half. I have a day and a half to decide. That works. Okay, so let's go do a bar trade. And I'm going to try to get as much Dark Elixir as possible. I'm thinking I might need to upgrade the King because he's cheaper. Uh, so I'm going to try to get as close to, I mean, as much Dark Elixir as possible with a Barch raid, which is not going to be that easy. So let me let me take my time. I'm going to find a really good base, smack it, and, uh, and see where we land. 7,000 Dark Elixir. Now, the odds of me being able to get into the, the, the storage in the middle is very, very unlikely. Just because... It, I don't have anything that will do that. No wall breakers, no wall wrecker. I got nothing. But I do have a king, and I have a bunch of barbarians and a bunch of archers. So we're going to do our best here, okay, guys? Um, let's let's actually avoid the bottom section and just go in for the 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 left, the right, and the bottom right, all right? Um, ooh, and we have a bomb tower out right here. This one would have been bad. So let's uh, let's send in a, a few groups of barbarians to try to... Oh, wow, what happened? Oh, the... Wow! My goodness... Okay, hold on. There was one little bomb that killed all my archers. There we go. Okay, there are more bomb towers on the outside. Those That was terrible. Okay, let's deploy and uh, try our best to get all of, at least all the drill loot, okay? If I don't get all the, if I don't get all the drill loot, then that's really sad, <laughs> you know? It's really sad. Uh, I think we're going to be all right, though. I think we got, a, we're going to get a decent amount. I mean, look at this, like, little weak cannon defending the Star Collection. We'll at least get this drill. Uh, we've already got that drill over there, and this drill is going down, too. So we're going to get all of the Dark Elixir out of the drills, uh, which is like 4,000 or something. That's a lot. So the question, though, is are, are we going to be able to get the extra 3,000 out of the storage? I highly, highly, highly doubt it. In fact, I think the chances of doing that are... are Pretty much zero, especially with like Expos defending and Infernos defending and no, really no troops left. If I had like, dang it, if I had like a battle blimp with some sneaky goblins, I would have definitely stolen all that Dark Elixir. But I didn't have it. I wasn't prepared. I didn't come prepared for today. That's okay. I I, I kind of like the spontaneous clashing, you know, but it, it just doesn't work out whenever you're trying to do clutch things. So I'm going to go and close out because I don't feel like waiting on that archer. That was 4,032 Dark Elixir. That was awesome. If you were to gem that, that'd be like hundreds of gems. It's insane. And uh, now, let's see. So I need 63,000 Dark Elixir. And uh, I have some practice rounds that I could use to get another four. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my goodness. I haven't done it. Like, I haven't done any of these. 
I forgot about practice rounds in this series. That's crazy. Remember, I started this account in the beginning of 2021. We've gone all the way up to now. We're going to continue to go up. But I haven't done any of these. So this is awesome. I think I've done one. I think I got one. Yeah, I three-starred this one with with, with uh, dragons. So how much Dark Elixir do I actually need here? 63, 56. That is 7,000, right? So if I go into the practice rounds, and if I do the math, I can do a 4,000 and then a 3,000. So let's do a 3,000 first. I'm going to do uh, Angry Babies. Why not, right? Let's get some 3,000 free Dark Elixir. Uh, you guys can do these practice rounds on your own. You've probably seen them before, so I won't make you sit through these. But I'm going to do this one, bring you in at the end, get 3,000 free Dark Elixir, and then do the same thing with the four. We'll have enough, upgrade the king, and then use that rune. Oh my gosh, that was such a poorly designed practice round. Like, seriously. That took forever. That took like five minutes. We only have three minutes to do these raids. Don't do what Supercell tells you to do in this practice round, okay? If you're going to try that strategy, you can't wait so long into Queen Charge, okay? Get get the baby dragons in by the 60-second mark, okay? Give your baby dragons two minutes to help out. Don't wait three minutes like in this practice round. That was ridiculous. Okay, I got 59,000. I need 63, so that means I need to do the 4,000 Dark Elixir practice rounds now. And we're going to use Miners because I'm going to be using them soon. And they're amazing. So uh, is this another Queen Charge? Dang it. Okay, so the practice round is going to take another 18 minutes to finish. Hopefully not, but it probably will. I'll bring you guys back in. I mean, I would love to show you guys Miners today in today's Town Hall 10 uh, video. So you know what? I might keep you guys in for the attack, but hopefully it doesn't take that long like i don't know what the heck they were thinking for the baby dragon raid that was bad <laughs> anyway so we're gonna move on um here's a ooh, wall breaker to check if there are any bombs that's smart watch this boom there's a bomb boom and then now we're gonna put the rest in there although there is a wizard tower shooting at me okay that worked out nicely that's the benefit of upgrading your wall breakers by the way one of the most underrated upgrades is the wizard is the uh the the wall breaker if you don't upgrade the wall breaker, you're you're in big trouble. <laughs> big, big trouble. All right, so I see what we're doing here, guys. Um, poison spell over the queen. Uh, we're, we're actually clearing the way for the hogs to go straight into the core, I think. That's, I think, theoretically, that's what we're doing. Okay, come on. Come on, kill the inferno. Nice. Okay, we're going to kill the enemy queen. And oh, look at that skeleton trap right where the poison spell was placed. That was awesome. Uh, so the queen is going to take out the enemy queen. And then this is when I would start throwing in hogs right now. This is when I would start doing it. What is up with these practice rounds? They're so slow. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Come on. Oh, hate it. <laughs> I've been saying hogs this whole time. I forgot we're doing miners. See, I've been using hogs forever on my town online. So yeah, we're using, we're showing off miners. I think I said hogs. Like, the entire time we were doing this raid. My bad, guys. I, if I got it wrong. If I didn't, then just ignore me. Okay? At least we got the town hall done with the queen. And now the miners are in. We've got uh, we got four, ha uh, four heal spells, which is going to be super, super helpful. And mostly effective around the uh, wizard towers, multi-infernos, and bomb towers. So, pretty good. Ooh! I can actually distract. Yes! Distracting a wizard tower with my, um, with my king. That is amazing. Use heal spells when the miners are alive, but they're under heavy fire. Okay, I'm ready. So, uh, Queen's probably about to struggle. I don't know. Barbarian King's ability. Okay, heal spell. I'm ready. I'm so ready. Oh, look at this Queen sticking out the other uh, multi-inferno. This is amazing. Yeah, you can do amazing things in these raids if you have no time, uh, like deadline, by the way. It's just... It's just amazing. I'm going to drop one heal because the bomb towers really are deadly for the miners. Looking good. So let's go ahead and swag. Let's let's heal the town hall. Sorry, buddy. I'll, I'll fix your town hall for you by throwing a heal spell on there. But there's a three star. Practice round. Love it. Awesome. Should have just hit cancel, but I'm going to hit end battle. Sweet. Okay. So finally, finally, we've gotten where we needed to go. Let's upgrade this. 63,000 dark elixir. Don't collect any dark elixir. Just use the rune which is here. And I just got myself 200,000 free Dark Elixir. That's nice. Let's book the queen. Let's upgrade her again. She's going to be going to level 32, so 71,000 additional Dark Elixir. Got to love that. And now let's go over here and look at what else we need to do to, you know, do some smart stuff. Uh, 
Uh, I do want the gems. I do want the shovel. More gems is good. Let's get some free Dark Elixir still. Actually, you know what? Let's get the Elixir. Just because I've got excess Dark Elixir right now. And Dark Elixir is actually easier to get at Town Hall 10 because you get miners. Miners are really the key here. Uh, I do want the wall. No, no, no. You know what? I'm going to get a lab boost. I used up two of them in preparation for the finale of our Town Hall 9 Let's Play. So I'm going to get that. And then another Dark Elixir rune. So bam. We are golden. Good to go. Yes, and I got a shovel so I can move more rocks. Perfect. Okay, so now that I've done that, uh, let's upgrade. Ooh, I've already used up all five builders. Okay, let's do this. Let's actually use the book of building on the laboratory. I realize that it's like the lowest time upgrade that I've got going right now, but it is uh, essential to, to get these laboratory upgrades started, okay? They take longer than the actual upgrades on the base take, so getting the laboratory going first. Again, it's most efficient to use the Book of Building on buildings that take longer, like for instance, the, the Spell Factory or whatever, but if I'm gonna be using just Barch for the next few days for Elixir primarily, I don't necessarily need spells, and that's why I like to use Barch. So let's go ahead and finish off the laboratory, and let's begin our very first uh, lab upgrade and I've got excess elixir so why not we start with the tried and true barbarian upgrade uh, I, whenever I bring barch I generally get more than half barbarians than archers so upgrading the barbarians will make this so much better of course remember I do have that power potion boost uh, that I could take advantage of but it's this upgrade finishes probably right before that boost ends so it, it's like I'll I'll never lose my power potion if I go ahead and upgrade the art the uh, barbarian so three million elixir there you go. And I've actually got a book of everything I could use that on too. Um, now let's do, I've got, I've got enough Dark Elixir. I'll wait and uh, use those once these finish in four days. Uh, so I've got one more builder left. Can I maybe do the clan castle? I, I probably should. I, I was thinking about doing the uh, army camps and stuff, but really the clan castle is super clutch because it allows me to bring siege machines, which is probably the most important thing at Town Hall 10. Also, I just realized something. Do I get any new buildings besides besides the... Um, oh, I've got a bunch of new buildings. Oh, my goodness. Wowzers. Okay, let's get the new walls. Let's just start this process, okay? Um, I had no idea. <laughs> I forgot to check. You got to get your new stuff at Town Hall, at any new Town Hall, because that's where you get a ton of value, a ton of gains on your base in a very short amount of time. So, yeah. All right, we're going to select that, rotate that, move it forward. Let's also get the new defenses that are super quick, like a 10-second cannon. And then uh, we'll also get the one-minute archer tower. And actually, I got some zero-second traps, too. Let's go ahead and grab these traps for fun. Because it is fun. It is fun seeing new buildings pop up on your base, right? Seeking your... Oh, wait a minute. Is that a zero-second? I might have almost just made a mistake. Nope, it's a zero-second. Very good. Okay, and uh, giant bomb, thank you. And last thing, we have a skeleton trap. Nice, so that's the new stuff. Let me get the new archer tower real quick. That's uh, one minute. And then the last new stuff that we need to get, but it's gonna take a little bit longer, is the bomb tower, two inferno towers, and another expo. Those are all over 24 hour upgrades, so we'll get them later. And uh, my last builder will go into the clan castle. Yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the Clan Castle. I don't think I'm missing anything major, but let's look through the suggested upgrades. Yeah, it's saying Clan Castle is my main gold suggestion. The Army Camp is... The four Army Camps are my main elixir suggestion. But we've also got, like, the Barracks. Uh, that's really it. Yeah, Army Camps and Barracks and Dark Barracks. Those, those are really major, too. So definitely very clear what we need to do for uh, day one of Town Hall 10. Unfortunately, now I've got no heroes, so... You know, CWL may be difficult. You should, really shouldn't do this during CWL, but um, I, I I have no excuse. <laughs> Hopefully, I still do pretty decent with like a Lunian raid or something. Although I have no spells, that's going to be difficult too. Um, okay, so I got that done. Let's go ahead and upgrade this clan castle. That's a six-day upgrade, five million gold, and I've I've just come up with what I need to do. So the clan castle is done. I'm actually going to use my book of everything. On my spell factory? No, because, dang it, with Lunian, you need a lot of haste spells and rage spells. No, I'm going to save the book of everything, probably for a hero. Never mind. Forget I said anything. I think this was a pretty good, thorough look at um, the first day of Town Hall 10. Let's recap what we did. Three hero upgrades, because I had a Dark Luxor rune. 
a, uh, the, the Klein Castle, Spell Factory, Dark Spell Factory, Laboratory. Use some books. Good to go there. And then, of course, all of the really fast new buildings and walls. So I'd, I'd say we did really well. We've started off strong. I need to place the new buildings. How many new buildings do I have? Oh, just the new. Okay. I've got to rebuild my uh, my base now. I've, I'll, I'll do that off camera and show you guys what I come up with. But um, that is it awesome these first episodes always end up pretty long so thank you for hanging out with me for still here let me know if you won the baby dragon plushie i'm um, hoping to do a lot more giveaways especially these they're so cute my wife loves this thing i mean who doesn't love uh, a cute little baby dragon it's amazing and don't forget to check out my new content going live on facebook um links for all of these things are down below in the description Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next Town Hall 10 Let's Play episode.